Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do a video here on uh, how to energy fight with the 190s. This is the A1, the first one. Uh, all the 190s except the D, D series, all of the A series, they're, they're not great climbers, but uh, they're great energy fighters. They can keep the speed they have in a dive and convert it up to altitude again, really easy. They are useless is dog fighting, so don't try it. They don't turn that good. But they're really good at uh, boom and zooming. I'm gonna take out this uh, P40 now here. I just wasted him, no problem. P39 is latching onto my tail here. And here I forgot I'm flying a 190, so I'm starting a dogfight here. Trying to make him stall using my rudder, turn the turn in after him. And of course, when I meet him here, almost I see uh, there's no hope I can come behind him. He's gonna win that dogfight. So just uh, decide to run away. I use my superior energy here to get the advantage. Trying to get him into a stall fight instead. And he still has a lot of energy here. Can only do a, do a fast head on and go under him. Get some 50 cal on my wing. Go for the separation again. He did a turn there in the horizontal. That led a lot of speed from him. I'm gonna try it again. Try to make him stall here. I'm climbing and I'm gonna start turning here to make him not to lose interest in me. Because he's gonna start gaining on me. But I'm still higher so he has to push up his nose to get the shot. And there he pushes it up the wings vapor but he managed somehow to keep his energy so I have to abort again but now he's really slow so I just do a loop here just take him out Yeah, the 190 is really good in the dive. You're gonna see that here on this uh, next kill I get. I'm gonna dive on this uh, F6F Vertikid again, poor guy. And this is gonna be a really high speed dive. He's turning, trying to turn to get his guns on me here. But he's not gonna have enough time to do it. That was 700 IAS speed, that's well over 800 in normal speed. And it still uh, was really easy to maneuver. The compressibility on the planes are mostly at high speed at low altitude. So if you dive like this down to 4000, you're not going to be noticeable. The compression and the control stiffening. And his plane is, is a really good uh, boom and zoomer. Here he comes again, the same guy. I'm a bit overconfident here. Could have easily been a crash there. And he did some more damage to me. Now I have an A6M3 coming after as well. I'm not going to make the same attack on him. I'm going to let him bleed out his speed. So I can make a more safer attack, fly over him a bit, make him uh, want to put up his nose, like he does here now. He's close in the distance, but uh, he has no energy now, so that was a dead easy kill.
Now they head on with the vertical. Almost end in a crash again. You don't want to attack like this. You want to attack uh, boom and zoom on the uh, rear from the behind them when they climb. So they don't, don't have a chance to put guns on you. And he's turning his plane so quickly when I'm diving on him. So he managed to almost get a shot every time. And when you have these cannons you have on the 190s, you have wing mounted cannons, uh, convergence dependable, you can work around this by lining up your wings parallel to the planes you are attacking swings, like here. You see there my convergence, he was outside my convergence range but I still got both his wings shot off. So it doesn't really matter so much if you have a long setting on your convergence as long as you really... you, you have to line up the wings so they uh, are parallel to the plane you're attacking and you get hits on the wings if it's too close and if it's further away you can you get hits on the fuselage and they grow out from the, from the, from the center the closer you get. The 190s are all really good this one is the first one. It doesn't have the big fancy gun banks as the other ones have, but it has the 151 cannon, same as the 109, and they are really good. You have the air ammunition belt on them, really powerful. The mange shots on them, the mange shot. So there, there. This, this is a good plane. It's lighter and more maneuverable than the A4 and A5. But the, from the A1 up to the A8 is not that much of a difference. Only difference in the guns. You saw there he was he was vertical for me. So I didn't line up my guns. I just shot. He just flew into my... That was a bit lucky because he was on the side. I have my conversion set to 500, so I might as well have gone outside him. And here's his back again in his P39M. Back for his revenge. I decided to go after him. And I get too hungry for the kill, and he gets his revenge, and this plane is toast. Should never go those go so close they're really a high risk of crashing into your opponent so think of that and that was the end